Arthur Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the git. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. So maybe I ought to stop by another time. All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. I have as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you! Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it! Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you! Bunch of mugs smacked! Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists! <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarns with me? Wonder who'll do better? You! Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer! Oh, stop your shite, Boston! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Drink last night, too. Best Try way to me. look for shade of a weak uh -huh. arm swinging at eight. Like shrooms, white arms. What? <coughs> Come on! Yalmar, can you? Oh, seal shut. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, Wolf. Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly.
Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that were such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Strikes me. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant. There's a killer case. That's a piece. Friends, we show heart. Foes. Heard you're taking on challengers and fist. Challengers? <laughs> We're here to hit. Hit to our. Not in the mood to fight. That time of the month. No. Not me, nor that witch. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? You put it mildly. I showed her the door. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you, 
for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Cloth! Give me some cloth! <sighs> Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! <clears throat> Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Then come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened? Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the trailer's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I think. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. 
Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn do. Blue boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Got me eye on you. here bear's head but the tongue's short like a human's mouth smells of honey liqueur mead and something else something earthy bears like honey before it's fermented strange something under the fur a tattoo shape of a bear paw Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. The horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. with some kind of mushroom, and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? 
The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. What about? What about? What do you think, Holger? Let's not hear about salted herring or the currents around Speaker Rogue. Flap your gob at me again and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skelliger. Speak, Witcher. How'd all of you manage to survive? What do you say? Eh? That we're the ones schemed this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skellige. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, none of us would be alive. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most again. But we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazia to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was crack, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. So long. <laughs> 